Hey everybody, it's Justin Shackle with Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T. We're getting you set up for the Yankees three-game series with the Astros in Houston. And this series could be a big one for the Yankees, as the Astros are one of the other main contenders in the hunt for the American League wild card. Houston has had a similar path as the Yankees in 2016, but has seemed to turn it around since a four-game losing streak in late May that dropped the Astros to 11 games under 500. They're 37 and 16 over the last 53 games, predicated on dominant pitching. The Yankees have gone 28 and 25 in the same span. And while their pitching hasn't been on par with Houston's for the bulk of the last two months, they have stepped it up in a big way on their recent homestand. Now, the Astros were among the league leaders in home runs in 2015, but so far, that power has staggered in 2016. Yet, there is still one big threat in the Houston lineup. That's five foot six second baseman Jose Altuve. He's the Astros' only 300 hitter and has kicked up his power this season, already surpassing his career high of 15 homers set last season. He currently sits atop Major League Baseball with the highest batting average and on base percentage. But the Yankees held him in check during their season opening series as he went just two for 11 over the three game set. Now this series will be all about who grabs the lead first as both teams feature two of the best bullpens in all of baseball. The Yankees and Astros are 1-3 in, in total strikeouts in the majors, respectively. Houston's bullpen owns the best ERA in the American League, while the Yankees are fourth. But if the Yankees get to the seventh inning with a lead, they'll have the clear advantage with the back end of their bullpen, even without the recently traded Aroldis Chapman. In Game 1 on Monday, Michael Pineda will be on the mound against reigning Cy Young winner Dallas Keuchel. Pineda is coming off his best start of 2016, where he tossed six scoreless innings and racked up eight strikeouts against the powerful Orioles lineup. The question, though, is which version of Pineda will show up in Houston? Even with a spotty June, his season strikeout-to-walk ratio of 127 to 29 suggests he should be pitching lights out. In the middle game of the series, CC Sabathia will start opposite Doug Fister. While Sabathia has allowed four runs or more over his last six starts, he did look impressive in his last outing, giving up two early runs on defensive misplays. He then shut them down until allowing two runs in the sixth. We'll see if Sabathia can build off that start and recapture the success he had over the first three months of the season. In the series finale, Masahiro Tanaka will face Lance McCullers. Tanaka outdueled Madison Bumgarner on Friday night against the Giants as he continues to lead the Yankees pitching staff. With six scoreless innings on Friday, Tanaka is now sixth in the American League in innings pitched and seventh in ERA. He's quietly building a case to be involved in the conversation for the Cy Young Award and will once again be pitching on normal rest like he did Friday night. The Yankees have won six of their last eight against playoff contending teams. Now they have a chance to make up some serious ground against one team standing in their way on the path to the postseason. For Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Justin Shackle. You can see more Yankees On Demand and Yankees scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.